And welcome into a special edition of the Red Hawk Report. We're joined by the 10th head coach in Seattle University men's soccer history, Nate Dalicon. Nate, thanks for joining the show. Thank you. Has it set in yet? Has it set in the 10th head coach in Seattle University men's soccer history yet? Um, yeah, it, it was great to get a game, um, a couple games uh, early, which was which was great. And uh, now it's just uh, doing the head coaching stuff now. So uh, a lot different than an assistant for sure. And that first game came against your alma mater. Was that like a surreal moment for you to coach against SPU? Yeah, it was. It was different. Um, you know, it was. It was nice because I know the coaches at SPU, and um, it was great to compete against them. And and the the guys came out and uh, put together a great performance. So. What was that moment like when the announcement? Obviously, I'm sure you knew more than the general <laughs> public did before it was announced. But obviously, the great fan support that we had on all the posts and everything. What was that like from your personal standpoint? Family, friends, contact you? Yeah, I think uh, it, it was great. I mean, uh, um, you know, I've been here for ten seasons. Um, you know, and, and Coach Ewing's been great. Um, and he was able to learn a lot from him, not only stuff on the field, but then also a lot of off the field stuff as well and, and how to have relationships with players. And so, um, you know, and I felt I was ready. I was ready to step into that role. And, um, you know, it was great to, to be able to do that with players that I already knew as well. So. All the history you and Pete have had together here already, all the players you've had drafted, you know, the the WAC titles you guys have won. Over those years, has he passed on words of advice that have really held on or even after the announcement was made? Yeah, you know, I, I, I know that he's always said that he's here, he's still here, which is great, and I can still bounce ideas off of him. Um, you know, and, and one of the things, he, the man management that he had in terms of dealing with players, dealing with alumni, dealing with the um, the university as a whole is, is something that I really took to heart. Now that you are in charge, you have a couple spring games under your belt. What can the general fans expect of this team? What type of do you have a style that you really want to implement or anything like that? Yeah, I think we've we've kind of gone out and said we want to play. We want to play out of the back. We want to be brave in possession. Um, we want to have that type of identity where we'll pass and move the ball. Um, I think one of the areas that we've been working on is just the final third and how we can be more dynamic in terms of our movement and our goal scoring opportunities. So, yeah. It's a perfect opportunity, obviously, to chat with you, not only being named that coach, but get to know you as a person as well. Yeah. But I think a lot of people know you as the coach, but not the player. Yeah. You had a great career at SPU, won a national title, right? Mm -hmm. Drafted in the ML Super Draft, ended up having a solid career with the Sounders and Rochester Rhinos, mm -hmm. correct? What was that playing career like, and how do you think that implements into you now your coaching style? Yeah, it's it was great. I got to play with a lot of great players and play under a lot of great coaches. Um, I got to play on the West Coast, the East Coast, so I was able to meet a lot of people that are still in the game as well. Um, in terms of you know just kind of taking things from other players, coaches is just making sure that you're honest with the players and that you you know after you've played you want to make sure that you're honest with them that you kind of give them an idea of where they stand um and also you know you've been in their shoes before so you understand um you know how the game goes and those relationships with players and coaches is there ever a moment in practice you're like oh back in the day i could have done that easy <laughs> is there, that ever come up where you're like trying to show up somebody maybe a little no bit? <laughs> no no i'm a little bit too old for that Not right now yeah, okay. there you go so um if with all the the career in soccer you, you also grew up here though and this is you're a local guy this is a program that is historic here on this campus what is it like to take over a program like that in you know the area that you grew up? Yeah, no, it's it's great. I mean, I grew up down by SeaTac Airport, and um, you know, went to the same high school as as Pete, and so being able to coach in the city that you grew up is is a huge huge opportunity um and one that i don't take lightly for sure and you know i know the the soccer community is fantastic in seattle i know when we go out and recruit um a, a lot of the other coaches around the country talk about the community in seattle and even the players in seattle as well and so 
um, you know, it's it's very exciting for me to be able to do this in front of not only the, the people of Seattle, but and family and friends as well. So. We'll end on a couple more fun questions, getting to know you a little bit more. First off, you grew up in soccer. Soccer is your <laughs> passion, obviously. But if you had to be a head coach of another sport, what sport do you think you'd be most successful as <laughs> being said head coach? Um, well, I did play a little basketball. There so we go. The basketball we go. is right. one that I would – that would, I'd have to say basketball. Yeah, right, so. we reach out to Coach Vic and try to get you <laughs> out there. Uh, okay, basketball, I, I like that. I appreciate that. Another question, now that everything, as you said, has settled in, at least to the outside, I'm sure obviously a lot of things still going on behind mm -hmm. the scenes. What are you most looking forward to now in your first full season as that head coach? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, August 7th when the guys report back, um, you know, I think that's – really excited about bringing you guys in bringing you know the guys back and getting back to work and I think um, the the guys have been great through this transition um, and uh, you know it's been it's been great to watch them grow as well but then uh, also they understand what it takes to, to go on and win games during the fall and so I think that's what we're really stressing to them that these, these next couple months are very, very important. So. Well, we appreciate it. And we're excited for a new era in uh, men's soccer here at Seattle U. Thank you. Thanks.